Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today, I am going to be reacting to Sophie. Um, I know so many of you have been asking me to do this, uh, starting a, when I did the Arca album, which was, a, I don't know, was it two or three weeks ago now? Well, anyway, I'm doing it. And um, I heard, actually, that Sophie had really sadly actually passed away. Um, at the start of this year, so literally only a few months ago in January. Um, extremely sad, so I'm very happy to be doing uh, a reaction to her music um, because that's the thing with music, you literally live on forever through music and uh, for those who are talented enough to be able to have music as their career, then yeah, their spirits will always live on. So I'm very much looking forward to this as so many people have been telling me I will love Sophie. So I'm like, okay. I just wanted to say there will be a uncut version of this over on my Patreon that I've set up. I currently have two patrons and I'm so, so grateful to you for becoming patrons. I'm just, ugh blown away honestly um i'm not really gonna make much money off youtube um starting this channel was no it was never my intention to make money because honestly i didn't even think i'd get this far with it um but now that like i'm in a position where i could make some money i'm thinking hell yeah obviously i want to make some money but obviously i also just want to be making content that you guys absolutely love and um you know, being able to react to your songs uncut and things and stuff like that is just so much better. And it's a, also a great way for me to get to know you more. We can talk more on, over there and hopefully do live streams in the future. Um, just no pressure at all because I'm going to be doing uh, album reactions here still, like always and forever. But um, there, yeah, it's just going to be more cut up here. Um, the only thing I will say is when I do the uncut, um, uh, uh, reactions and put them over on Patreon. I'm not going to, I'm definitely going to be cutting up my speaking bits because uh, ugh, so often I trip over my words. You have no idea. I trip over my words and it takes me like 10 minutes to say a sentence sometimes. Uh, so yeah, it would just be really irritating and boring. So I'll just like, I'll hurry along what I say, but I'm not going to cut out anything um, important or anything like that and I'm going to keep the songs as they are with uh, pauses of course as you'll see in this video that there are, are pause to speak and so on like that. Basically you'll just get um, more reaction, a longer video and um, the, the songs in full uh, rather than me having to chop up the songs a little bit. So it's entirely up to you if you don't mind this for format then stay here and whatever, but if you would like to see something a bit more like that, then pop over to Patreon. I will uh, put the link in the description and extremely appreciated if you do decide to join my Patreon. Like, I can't, like, honestly, extremely appreciated. Like, um, what are the words that you could really say for something like that, to be honest? Anyway, other than that, let's get on with the video. So yes, let's um let's do it. And I'm listening to Sophie Oil of Every Pearls Uninsides. Interesting. Okay, I just kind of want to like get straight to it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I need to put my screen recording on. Otherwise there'd be no sound. And this whole video would be absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Right, um, first song is called It's Okay To Cry. Okay, thanks. I'm scared. Is it gonna make me cry? I guess we'll find out. are just quiet but or is she singing quiet because of whatever that sound was P 
piano. <laughs> um, it feels like that was really loud and the singing isn't. Maybe it's because my hair is in my in front of my ears. Let me get my ears, cover those holes. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to look like Hagrid, it's fine. All of the big occasions you might have missed. No, I accept you. It's interesting, like the whispery sounds though, like the it's like there's a really quiet, uh, she's singing really quietly underneath. It's like whispering. I think you sometimes forget I would know you best. I hope you don't take this the wrong way. But I think your inside is your best side. Wow. That's beautiful. I love the way it's like, it's like that, uh, like in the Caroline Polachek thing as well, when she's like, bang, and you go, it just feels like everything just comes forward. And it's just like, into like this moment, like a, like a fountain of sound and feeling. I have this weird feeling that like, like, I don't know why, but it just feels really quiet. Like, my headphones seem really quiet for some reason, and I'm just like, what's going on? Maybe it's just a quieter album. That's fine. Mm, I love those sound effects. If I had just one single wish, wish I could have said this. It's okay to cry. Ooh, give me goosebumps. Ooh. I never thought I'd see you cry. Beautiful. I love that. It's just so up close and personal. It's intimate. And um yeah, it is emotional. It's a good message actually. Ooh. That vocal. Sounds like water. That reverb. I love that reverb. Wow, I just love like, you know, at, at first the vocals were kind of dry, you know, they had like a little um, electronic sound on it. But um, mainly quite dry, especially with the whispers. Like uh, that's what gives it that ASMR effect. But um, then it went kind of like a uh, reverb that, and like the tone of her voice was just very like, ooh, it's uh, like a cry tone that's called. And it sounds very emotional, but it also sounds really like watery. And then that heavy, that heavier reverb on the, on the third part uh, just sounds really just like, uh, you know, like atmospheric, and I love that. I just want to have a little look at the lyrics. Well, yeah, so just reading the lyrics, especially where it says, um, there's a world inside you, I want to know what it feels like, I want to go there with you, because we've all got a dark place, maybe if we shine some light there, it won't be so hard, I want to know those parts of you. Um, when she says that, that, that's beautiful, because it's so true, and like, um, I was reading a, uh, book called, um, can't remember who it's by, uh, I'll try and uh, find it and uh, get a screenshot, but it's called Romancing the Shadow. Um, I think there's more to the title, but Romancing the Shadow. And it's about literally going into your like traumas or your like childhood or your dark places and um, shining a light there and, uh, you know, being like, hello, nice to meet you. And kind of just like facing them. and. Um, when she says, I want to go in that world with you, it's like saying, I want to know what you're upset about. I want to see some emotion. I don't want you to feel like you're trapped in like a box. You know, you can talk to me. I'm here. I'm here. Um, because connections can be easily uh, tethered when, um, 
you can't both be open about the way you feel. Uh, that's how I feel anyway. So yeah, that's already good. I'll carry it on. And then it like all like suddenly, it, you know, makes you want to go, oh, what, what, what's going on? What's going on? And then suddenly it just like blows up then. It's almost like ripping of sellotape sounds. <laughs> yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, next song, Pony Boy. Pony. Boy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let me just go to the end of this because I think it goes into Pony Boy. That sounds cool already though. Pony. Boy. <laughs> oh wow. I really like this. Oh yeah. That's so good. Oh, I just love it. That like that like ba -ba bum. Bum bum, bum 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 or whatever I, I can't remember exactly what it did but um just that kind of like oh just that sound what 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 do you think that is like why do you think that sounds so good like what is it about that like punchy bassy rhythmic kind of sounds with the squeaky like pony boy like why is that so good to the ears like why I just love the way that sounds <laughs> And it's like, like, oh, and Lee and Pony, bye. Uh, you know what I'm saying because you're listening to it with me. But, <laughs> oh, it's just, you want to move. You, ah, oh, I, I, it's too complicated to explain why I like it because it's just, I don't know. It just does something. I wonder if it's like scientific or something in the human brain that just like enjoys this type of like beat. I think it's just so creative. It has like such a, interesting flow to it that is just like gets you hyped and excited and like you focus your intention in different like areas and it's like really fun to do oh my god Again and soulful. It's just like di, 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 di. Right. yeah that um so good it's just so good it just felt like it was like climbing up a wall it almost felt like a horror movie and it's like a spider climbing up a wall but in like not a scary way even though that sounds scary but it, it wasn't scary until i said that now i've made it scary <laughs> oh well anyway i'm excited like this bit i was just like hang on a minute
being like, pony, boy. And now it's gone back to that like vocal because so much has happened. I forgot it did that. <laughs> that rising sound. Is that gonna go into face shopping? I'm gonna let it run in. My face is the front of shop. I know this song! I know this song! My face is the real shop front. I know this song! My shop is the face I front. Why do I know this? I've heard this song before. That's crazy! I'm real when I shop my face. It. I'm meant to be pausing this. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes. Just, yeah. That is. Oh, I'm too excited to be able to say much. I need to just keep going. <laughs> talk technically about anything all i can say is how that felt <laughs> that felt phenomenal <laughs> that felt like i just got like abducted and then probed and i kind of liked it <laughs> it just oh my god i just actually loved that oh what the frick is she doing she's amazing <laughs> Blown away. What the? like that bass and it sounds like it's in like a club down the street and uh she's just like my face is the front of shop oh my god just <sighs> I did not, and I don't think I could ever, or anyone would have ever seen that coming. Someone's playing stupid music upstairs. They better fucking start. Do the video! <laughs> I hate living in a flat. I hate it. Uh, well, I'm gonna try and put a noise cancellation uh, thing on this, but um. <clears throat> Anyway, I did not expect it to go there though. That was actually like some, like the vocal switch ups she does are like so fun and like literally so fun. Just so fun. I love it. 
makes me feel a bit more confident in my own voice because like I've got a unique voice um I do different sounds and different you know nuances and stuff like that um which some people might not like very much but like um when she's doing these sort of like different vocals here, there and every, everywhere, it is art and you can use your voice as an instrument. It doesn't always have to be like this beautiful flowy thing, um, which is nice, but sometimes it could just be art, you know? And yeah, it makes me feel good listening to it, honestly. And she, um, this bit is very interesting though. It's like it goes into another song. interesting she's just letting her voice like do what it wants basically she is following the voice good but scary like that was like some sort of fucking predator coming out like <laughs> wow very clever as well because thinking like how'd you just go back to that but i mean how did you get into it anyway i don't know <laughs> wow because you can get used to this so smooth it's smooth but it's got that like Whatever that sound is, I think it's her vocals that sound a little bit like disturbing. The front of wow. Right, okay, I am going to stop it. Uh, do you know what's interesting? I've heard that my face is the front of shop. My shop is the face of front. I've heard that line uh, somewhere. I I've heard it. It must be on like a advert, a clothing advert maybe? I'm not entirely sure, but I, I definitely haven't heard like the whole song. Like definitely haven't. I just remember that line. Oh, I think that face shopping and pony boy fantastic it's okay to cry it's definitely got more of a emotional feel but i didn't understand why it was so quiet i i, I think it was intentional um maybe because it's more vulnerable and so on meant to be listened to in a quieter setting or or whatever really a bit more relaxing i'm not sure but um pony boy and face shopping are just powerful so is it cold in the water that bass. Oh, that bass. Oh, just feel it. You feel it. that they've like built this synth up so so loud and then it drops into like that like more 
that uh like how the synth sounded at the beginning just like a more like lower bassy like you could hear the bass more if that makes sense um and then her vocals are more heard again um i actually really like that sometimes i'm like oh it, you know with the arc album there were moments where i was like where's it going then it wouldn't go in anywhere like it wouldn't be like a drop it would be like a false drop whereas this it's technically a false drop but it's really not at the same time it's more of a release because like that synth sounds so hectic so hectic and then suddenly it's just like this and it's her vocals and it feels like a bit more of like a a release from all that tension you know That was just so beautiful and ambient, that one. Just felt really like into it, just like, yeah. Oh gosh, I really did like that one actually. Yeah, no, literally it was like beautiful. And I really liked how it like rose up and then dropped and rose up again. Um, I got slightly distracted towards the end though, I, have to, I can't lie, because my sister messaged me about um, uh, babysitting stuff, uh, my, uh, she's not feeling well, but she was gonna have my daughter tonight. Really boring, I know, really not to do with the album, but I had to check it because, you know, parental duties. <laughs> anyway, it didn't really distract me too much though, because the song was absolutely beautiful. I actually preferred it to It's Okay To Cry. Maybe It's Okay To Cry will grow on me. I always feel when I hear the first song of an album, I'm like, hmm, not sure. And then as soon as I get more into it, I you know, I then go back and I do like it more. I don't know. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Okay, next song, Infatuation. Ooh! So alien. So interesting. Like a little child. Mm, that's cool. Oh, the panic is going. I just love the building of instruments just like the more and more being added and the different vocal things happening and like but just like that really really tinny kind of synth coming in there this this album is super like it is just like a uh, like spaceships you know what I mean it is like like you're out in the universe it's very alien in a way <laughs> I'll go back a bit but like that whole like it almost sounded like a guitar at that point but really twisted really twisted and just like 
so distressed. It, it reminded me of the White Stripes guitar sound a little bit. Um, a lot more electronic here, but you know, that kind of like, like it's so distressed and like, I just love that. Like that. <laughs> And that kid voice is a little bit disturbing. Wow, with that train of, oh, the way it's gonna go into a not okay, isn't it? I'll let it. <laughs> yes. with this type of music like this type of music actually does something to me like it literally I can feel it like I feel it. it's like a sensation it is like ASMR it just is that like distorted disgusting dirty rotten bass <laughs> it's just like it's just so like crunchy you know and it just feels so good I like it I like that crunchy sound. And it always sounds like you're in an arcade a little bit. Oh, I love it when they move past, like the panning. I, I don't know if you guys listen to this on headphones or, well, you probably obviously have already, <laughs> but I just love the way it's like, and like the little like sounds like, makes you feel like this car's like, rushing by, but in this case, like, spaceships rushing by? Wow! Ooh. I can imagine this with the prodigy. Oh! Wow! Okay! Okay, that was a really short one. And I really think that was good. I'm definitely liking the more like, you know, like in your face ones, the ones that have like the really choppy sounds. I don't know what it is about them. I just, I think I'm liking them more. Like maybe I'm just in the mood for that today. Okay, um, only three more songs left. Um, okay, so song number seven, Pretending. As per usual. So I just have a little stretch here and there. Okay, this sounds kind of haunting. It's like horror movie music. Suspense. Where are you taking me, Sophie? I can hear melody. Yeah, that's a bit of 
drive. Actually is. Stop. Oh my god, the way that went into that next song. I bet y'all are all laughing right now. Like thinking, oh, I can't wait until Fern listens to pretending. I wonder how she'll react. <laughs> well, I, I I couldn't even pause it because I was just like, I feel like you have to stay in it. Like you can't pause that. You can't pause pretending. Obviously, if you're watching on YouTube, you're going to get cut up little snippets because I can't put that whole thing in, of course. But like, um, I didn't pause it. I just was just like, for ages, just like... <laughs> just like what it's so genius though it, 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 i just i don't know why i got to a point in my brain where i just imagined loads of aliens in like an alien spa like just getting a massage and it's like alien spa music i yeah is that weird <laughs> um okay but then like that motorbike sound at the end i was like okay really not at a spa just revving up a motorbike um and now it's going into immaterial <laughs> saying immaterial girls is she saying immaterial girls because that's interesting because material girl from madonna tune what a summery feeling this is super radio friendly going from pretending which is just I've never heard being done on an album before. You know, I've not really heard that. No, I haven't. And it's just like this, like, ooh, you know, what? Five, no, nearly six minutes of just like sound that isn't melodic in any way, really. It's just like a droney sound. A droney sound with like different, I don't know, textures going on to this. Which is like extremely mainstream sounding. That's just genius. You could be me and I could be you. Future's gonna say that. Always the same and never the same. Day by day, life after life. Tell me where do I exist? that like just like dum, 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 dum. it's super dancey i could just see so much happy faces on the beach listening to this i was just a lonely girl in the eyes of my inner child i could be anything i want and no matter where i go you'll always be here in my heart is she saying that about her inner child? I was just a girl, something about in the eyes of an inner child? Girl, in the eyes of my inner child. I could be anything I want. And no matter where I go, you'll always be here in my heart. And just leave me alone now. I can't be That reminds me of crying. Again, really experimental, the vocals there. It's like a character, you know? It feels like a, there's a, she's playing a character or like maybe a um, part of herself, uh, like the inner child she was talking about, you know? that she's talking about like the truest of things just that i could be anything that i want i could be you know boy girl uh i could be big small 
you know, I can be literally anything I want, any race, anything. Um, and it's wrapped up in such a mainstream song, such a listenable song that people can listen to and, uh, you know, sing along to. You know, it, it, it's one that needs to be heard. And actually, fortunately, it's one that really has the popular sound so it can be heard. And it has got 12 million listens, the most on the whole album. Makes sense. Again, I forgot it started like that, but rising up rather than going down. I think. Oh, it's gonna be going into the song number nine, Whole New World slash Pretend World. Nine minutes on. Right, I'm going to pause it because this song is nine minutes long and I need to stretch for all the listeners. Sorry, my back is so bad recently, guys. Well, my back is actually always bad, so. Okay, right, let's carry on. Whole new world. Whole new world. Oh, Spotify just <laughs> quit on me. I thought there was like a really long pause. I was like, what's just happened? But no, it literally just decided to, to crash. Okay, we're back. Sophie crashed Spotify. Right, I've been listening to a lot of like beatboxing recently. Like last time I had beatboxing, it was like, it was cool. But like, I swear like beatboxing now, when I heard it, it it's just evolved so much. And like, I don't know why this, like that voice reminds you of like those like beatboxers that do like probably like raw bass sounds. <laughs> before that bit just end just that like I thought I could see her. you know just like that like more singy bit uh whole new world oh, just... and then it went into like that like kind of interesting symphy bit afterwards as well oh wow that was great I'm sorry as the next bit happened I was still thinking about that bit <laughs> like this bit I love whole new world Yeah, I kind of ignored this because I was thinking about the other bit still. But that's cool. That is actually like... That reminds me of an effect on a game called Saints Row that I've played. And um, it's like, actually reminds me of it. Like, it actually reminds me of a video game and it's really alien-like again. I love that. Ah. 
it's going to transition into pretend world. So I don't think it's too hard for the, you know. I feel like whole new world and slash pretend world are like, you know, it is all in one song, but they are sections. So horror. This is really trippy, this bit. Again, it's it feels a bit illegal to pause it at any moment. Um, it's got such a, like, it feels like you're traveling somewhere, you know? And there's all, like, you're passing all these things, like these things are passing by, lights and comets and stuff like that. And I'm seeing a lot of pink and I'm seeing a lot of blue. And, um, you know, like, I also see, like, caves, though, like, coming out of caves and, like, Especially when you got those ding, 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 ding. Like those like kind of clangy, uh, you know, uh, sounds. I can't, I can't think of the word, but like they're just a little bit like, like a horror movie. It's a horror movie sound and it makes you think of like, that's kind of creepy, but it's like a creepy horror mixed with like alien stuff. So, and both of them being like, two different types of things so like horror as in like you know spooky ghost horror murder horror um <clears throat> Stephen King type horror uh nothing to do with aliens though and then over here it's all just like alien stuff that is like pink and blue cosmic uh not even threatening just like really interesting uh but they're meeting they're like meshed together and like I find that really fascinating <laughs> It's like a motorway. What I'm seeing right now is crazy. gonna have to stop it because I need to tell you my thought process before I just keep going any further with that. I felt like when I said it's like a motorway I then saw like the cars like in a night sky so like it's night time and the cars rushing by but then there's like the, when the cars rush by and you see lights like this like shh, shh, it then became like a weird blurry tornado and like I felt like I was sat, stood in the middle of it and just like transcending up into space as this like whoosh, 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 tornado of lights was just like spinning round and it what started as like car lights like orangey car lights with pinks and reds and you know like um uh, sorry orange and like uh street lights mixed with like the red lights on cars and stuff and the and the white lights and but then the night sky and it all just came swishing around me and uh, I was just like kind of just going up into space basically this like tornado it's like a wind of of lights just take, I don't know just taking me up into the sky I really I really felt that and, and saw it <laughs> the heck was that ending that ending is it weird to say it made me feel really really sad this is so bizarre but like it just made me really sad like I felt like this transcending feeling being oh 
like being pulled up and up into like somewhere like amazing and there was a little bit of disturbing sounds here and there like um almost like cries or even maybe even excitement I don't know but as it all came down it felt like even though it sounded like um like space like it felt like reality yeah it just sounds like the ride's over the fun's over you know like it has like this like up feeling then it's just kind of like this like the machine is breaking down and it's over it's done it felt like an ending it did and um I think what makes it sadder is that uh obviously Sophie isn't here with us now um it's actually really sad now that I've listened to the album and of course it was sad before it's sad when any artist or any person dies but um after hearing this whole album it, it makes me sad that there won't be more and um her talent and intellect and like she seems so smart and just I don't know it's just like it's just it's sad isn't it um I don't really want to leave it on a sad note though because obviously I want you to enjoy the video and it should be a celebration that you know like I said before she does live on throughout her music and um the fact that I hadn't even heard her of her or anything yet until now just shows that like people will still be discovering her music uh months years to come uh um sorry i'm finding it hard to be like super woo right now just because i don't know what it was about that song but it made me like especially just that whole bit at the end it was just really 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 impactful i felt and it was amazing um yeah if you want to see this uncut um but you've already watched this whole video but you still want to see it uncut then go to my patreon uh favorite songs uh so far Face Shopping, Pony Boy. There's so many good ones, it's really hard. I kinda liked, let me just hear this. Oh yeah, Pretending was that really weird one, wasn't it? I really liked that, I don't know. Am I just trying to be too different or something and say I really liked it? I did though. Oh, Not Okay is really good. I did like the really heavy hitting ones. Um, It's okay to cry, I really like the meaning, I really like the words, the lyrics. Uh. Pony Boy face shopping, just, ugh, the energy. Is it cold in the water? Loved how it would rise and fall back down. And Ellen did it twice, but it was like, so like, oh, just the ambient of it, ambience of it. What was infatuation like? Yeah, and this one, I really like the panning from ear to ear. And, oh, na, 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 oh, na, na. I don't know what she's saying, but it's like that. Um, Probably again, not a favorite. Not okay, I really enjoyed. Pretending I really liked for some reason, like, why why how is that something I like <laughs> I don't know it's just like noise it's not it's not even anything crazy it just I like the way I felt within it you know I did um immaterial was really fun very like uh mainstream but actually rap like so mainstream but she's clever she put like super like you know forward thinking stuff basically just like you know, be who you want to be sort of stuff that is really good and my population does need to hear that. Um, whole new world slash pretend world, that just, I don't know what it did to me, but it was beautiful. And I'll describe the whole album as just literally a, a journey through space. It just was. It was crazy interesting. It wasn't just a journey through space. It felt like being abducted again and again and again. That's how it felt. It felt like being abducted onto a UFO, being messed with, one of the bits felt like an alien spa, uh, another bit felt like you're being pulled up again, but then, so like, the whole new world felt like you're being pulled up into space but then chucked down to the ground at the end. I know, that sounds horrible, but it did kind of feel like that. Or it felt like you got to space and, well, I could look at it that way. It's like you got to space and then the machine or whatever, the UFO was powering down and you were there then, you were there. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I absolutely loved it. So thank you so much for recommending it. Uh, you always, I, it's funny, like you just do know what I'm gonna like. And I always think, hmm, will I like it? Will I? And then I try it and I go, yes, yes I did. I loved it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and um, bye.